How's it gaming? I'm Phil in the Blanks. Welcome back to Let's Play Pikmin 2. We are at sub-level 12 of the Dream Den. Three sub-levels left to go. Two and a boss if you want to get really down to it. And that'll be the end of Pikmin 2, unless we missed a treasure uh, in this cave, which uh, I don't think we have. We've been pretty thorough. Uh, and we know for a fact that we've completed every other cave because it tells us, thankfully. And there are 21 treasures in this uh, in this uh, cave. If you've been counting, you'll notice we're actually rather far away from that 21. Don't worry. The uh, last floor with the boss has five treasures, so <laughs> don't worry about it. But let us continue on. Lots of poison around here. Lots of poison. Thankfully, nothing crazy. This guy can't really hurt us. The guy with the, uh, I don't know the name, the whistle signal beetle or whatever. It's not a beetle. It's not a not a, a dweevil either. It's just kind of its own little thing. But it kind of jumps down. <laughs> is an idiot. Oh, it's so weird. Your people just stop and won't listen to you. It's something that doesn't happen very often. Oh, and there is a Wally Wog, though. They're following him around. That's okay. Yeah, we're not in any trouble here. To be honest, if we lose a couple white... Pikmin, I think it's my last little bit of pit, white Pikmin. It won't really matter all that much. Nope. Alright, you know what? There we go. We got... We're able to get our Pikmin into this room. Just have to avoid that little... That little center area. We've already brought them out, so we're pretty good. And... It's okay for losing purple Pikmin to, like, that whistle. It's okay, we took out the wall. Anymore. That's all that matters. Now we can take this guy out. Ooh, I'm say no one's damaging him. There we go. Perfect. I don't think he has anything. I'm actually not sure. No, he did not. That's fine by me. But at least now we know the radar is fine. I think that's a pretty cool idea. They've definitely added a lot more to this game than Pikmin 1 did to like kind of test your understanding of the mechanics. But the idea that your radar could be wrong. I mean, the first game didn't really have a radar. You could look just at your map and there were stars on the map to show you where things were. Doesn't really exist in this game. I like the radar system actually better because you have to look for things. It just makes more sense. Uh, though I guess in the context of the first game story, Red Pikmin, what is wrong with you? Come here. Oh, oh are you okay? Okay, well, damn. The radius for my whistle is actually too big now. It's kind of funny. There we go. Uh, but yeah, in, in the first game, in the context of the story, it made sense that there wasn't a radar. It was like, a, it was like, just it was, a, it was a not a radar. What would they call it? But whatever. You you could see where things were on the map because it was locating your ship parts. And this, it's treasure. You don't know the tr where treasure could be, right? So it made sense that they added a radar instead because then there'd be hidden stuff, and that's just neater. So. Plus, like, I just like the idea that there's there's a lot of enemies that do different things. Like, there's an enemy that messes up your radar. There's an enemy that, like, uh, does a bunch of... Like, each, a lot of enemies have different types of... Like, dweevils, for example. There's a lightning dweevil, a water dweevil. I like how they brought in a new type of, um... Of, of uh, blowhog with the water blowhog. I, I'm certainly glad they didn't add a lightning blowhog. <laughs> just, just kamehameha you to death. That'd be nuts. Okay, let's take you guys out. If I need to, I actually don't remember if this is the only thing I need on this one. Because this isn't a particularly hard level, it's a pretty normal one, so I didn't really pay attention too much for it. Yes, there's at least one more thing. Okay. We're pretty much, I'll be really honest, past the really, really difficult stages. Uh, thankfully, we're pretty much just going through a couple normal levels. And I mean, there's some ball bears, sure, but like, it's not the worst thing in the world. Like I said, our, our, our fight against... The final boss would be mostly yellow. If you can get here with all yellows, cool. Oh, there we go. What a, what a pr mini Pringles can? I don't like these rocks, jeez. What is this? Keep that out in the meantime. No blue, damn you. <laughs> and not like a lot of white pigment. Oh, baking powder. Okay, that's fair. It's a very realistic looking, like, that, like it's so good. Perfect baking, I agree. Anything here? Oh, I just noticed the radar went. Damn it, I'm so silly. We can just go. Big boulder in the way. Ah, there's a gate. Of course there's a gate. Alright, that's fine. Actually, this looks really easy. There's no, like, enemies out in the way. Except for a single Wallywog. That's fine. Just 
be careful not to poison anyone. Other than that, it seems like we've gotten pretty much all the enemies. And bam. Oh, no, too early. I'm always a little too early. There we go. Like one more hit. We're in there with a couple sprays. It's not bad. I'm okay with that. Come on, perps, take this guy out real quick. With minimal minimal casualties, hopefully. <laughs> and we're good, we're golden. Yeah, now we're golden. Alright guys, break open that thing. Let's get out of here. Oof, we're so close. This is crazy. This has been a long let's play. We're on episode 28. That's crazy. I honestly didn't think it would go that far. I, I was like gonna say 25, so I guess I wasn't really that far off, but still. It's at level 13. Just a bunch of ball bears. And one of them has the treasure. And it wasn't that guy, oops, but I woke him up. It's usually the orange spotted one, and let's say there's two of them. So we're just gonna take this guy, because he's like he came to life, I got too close to him. Uh, we're fine. Okay, good. So it's probably this guy right here. Don't think it's... Yeah, this is a very small area, eh? Nothing buried. Yeah, wow. Very small. This is it. Our final challenge until the final boss. Take you out. Don't even bother dealing with the other ones. There we go. A single bottle cap. I'm, not, I'm too scared of you. <laughs> the fact that you're just there. There we go. I don't want to take any chances if I don't need to. And bottle cap. Whee! Premium orange juice. 19th anniversary. 19th anniversary. Is that the difference between uh, the years of Pikmin 2, the original release, and this? Because if that's how much that is, that's really clever. It's actually really clever. Here we go! Here is the final boss. Big, big arena for this, too. Looks like a kitchen sink of some sort. Because, uh, first of all, you might be wondering, too, like, oh, so all this treasure and stuff, and the whole point we came back was to find Louie. So, like, what happened? So, like, I'm wearing yellows. I need both my yellows. I need all my yellows. Thank you. So what happened to Louie? The, oh, my gosh, he's safe. Thank goodness. I hope he hasn't become evil. Is that Louis? Mr. President, I have located Louis resting on a vast mound of treasure. For him to venture to these depths alone, the desire of man, of man is a thing to be feared. But Louis is not moving. Could he have exhausted his strength in reaching these depths? How did he get here by himself? There may be yet be time quickly to Louis's aid. But Louis has a dark secret. Louis is now the master of bugs. No, not really. <laughs> He's just unconscious to tell this guy. So this is the Titan Dweevil. And uh, it's a Dweevil with four pieces of equipment dominance in their treasures. And you gotta knock them off of him to defeat him. Uh, and each of these treasures are different attacks, different elemental attacks. We're seeing the poison one right there. You'll notice I'm specifically gonna go for this one right here. Okay, careful, careful. The one I'm kind of going for is like holding it right there, right in front of us. Uh, that is the fire attack. The fire attack is probably the hardest to kind of avoid. The blue one, like the water one, it's fine. It's not really a big deal. It's more important that I just kind of go crazy. Ooh, that's not good. That's not good. Yeah, this one's crazy because it can knock uh, your captain down. That's really dangerous because if it knocks your captain down, chances are you're not going to get up and save your Pikmin in time. The water one can as well, but you have... Um, you have a, a, a better chance. And you can tell what the Dweevil will be attacking with based on the color it turns into. So now it's all purple. And they each have a different, um, uh, different kind of uh, patterns, as you can see. And we haven't seen the lightning attack yet, but the lightning attack is the easiest for us because, well, we have crap. That's not good. We have... Hello, Pikmin. Okay, good. Um, I have 30 Pikmin. Did I lose, like, I 29? I know I lost one here. Did I lose 30 on the way? Damn, that sucks. Um, but yeah, the lightning attack is the easiest for us because we can't die from it. But if you have any other Pikmin, death is really easy to come like to come by. So, there's multiple strategies, strategies to this. 
Uh, what most people like to do, and I kind of agree, is just use a bunch of yellow Pikmin and take out everything but the lightning attack, which is the very front of the Dweevil. What I'm going to do, though, is take out the more dangerous ones. There we go. The fire attack exists no more. Now, you can grab Pikmin and get them to carry that back, but because it is kind of in the way, but I, I kind of don't want to do that because it's dangerous to do that. So now we'll want to take away the poison one, and then we're going to take away the lightning one. Once the lightning one, one is gone, we'll take all our Pikmin, and we'll go after the last one, which is the water one. It's like the faucet there. I'm all out of sprays now. They don't last too, too long, as you can see. Plus, like, I can technically attack right now, but it is obviously very dangerous to do so. And every time you take out a piece, the attacks get more dangerous. So, if you really, really want to go slowly, um, not slowly, I guess, but use, you know, very, very carefully. This sucks. I'm losing. I'm losing so many yellows here. No. Yep, yep. I'm gonna lose. Oh, I lost. Oh, a bunch. Lost, how much was that? Five? I lost another one. I lost eight. That sucks. Um, yeah, if you have enough yellow, which I, I don't really believe I have right now, uh, you can just take out everything but the yellow, and then you are safe. You'll just take forever. But this is a... Oh, jeez, you guys are slow now. Uh, this is... Uh, not good. This is an absolutely lengthy uh, boss fight. But unless you're bad, like I am being right now, it's not particularly difficult. You just gotta be careful and, like, guide out, uh, guide your Pikmin around and make sure they don't die. Like, I've, I've been doing really bad, actually, with making sure my Pikmin don't friggin' die. God. Oh, man. 20 Pikmin, 20, we've already lost 10 yellow Pikmin. That really sucks. Okay, what are you gonna do? Now, don't worry about the Dweevil's legs. The Dweevil itself cannot hurt us. Uh, so once we uh, get all four parts off of the uh, off the Dweevil's body, it will like start swinging its armors around on you or whatever. But it actually can't hurt you. It's just oh, there we go. Do we see lightning attack already? Yeah, we did. But bzz, oh no, it can hurt your captain. But who cares? That's fine. I don't care if a captain gets hurt on that. Yellow again. Thank you. Keep chucking them on that. That purple. See, they're going for the treasure. That's what's annoying. Now I could take a second to get the treasure out, and uh, it might be kind of worth it later, but. Right now, I just I just want to get another thing knocked off there. Yes! Nice chunk. They're all on there. Yeah! Okay, so that's good. That's good. That's good. So the poison is done. Let's go after the lightning now. It's right on the front. And thankfully, um, you can kind of easily hit it when it's uh, when it brings it down. Because it just brings it right down to the ground. It's not too difficult. Crap, crap, crap. The problem with the water, though, is the water goes right up to where the lightning thing is. So you can't leave your Pikmin on. Thank goodness there's no time limit. Because this would be just very, very long. It's be like the length of an entire day above ground. It's that crazy. Here we go. Now everyone, come here. So we're gonna get some good throws on him. Damn. Ooh, two of them are on there. There we go. That's much better. I have no idea how much life any of these things have, but I mean. Take them out. Even though you can, like... Like, at this point, two of the, uh... Two of the treasures are off. It's so, like, the Dweevil seems like, you, oh, you just hit it where it, its butt is or whatever. Nope. You can't actually hurt the Dweevil until you get all four treasures off. So that's very, very frustrating. But it is the way it is. Damn. Oh, no, that was... Ah. No, they're going after the treasure. Don't go after the treasure. You morons. Ah, damn. But yeah, the uh, attacks all get much more difficult. The lightning, it doesn't matter that it gets more difficult. Poison would be very dangerous right now, so with the fire one. Uh, water, it's just, it, it lasts longer, and it, it kind of aims for you a little bit more. But the fire and the uh, poison, it's just like, it's fast. That's what's annoying about it. Not much more to say, to be honest. Oh, now they're bouncing around a little bit. There we go, it's down. All right, so now we can get everyone with us. This is all water, so it doesn't matter that we're using yellow or not, right? So let's just get in there. Having more Pikmin is a little bit more dangerous in terms of losing Pikmin, but at least that way I can still, I can still, yeah, I can get more Pikmin to attack. Oh, that's good. That's bad. Uh, 
the problem is that because it's now the only thing it'll ever use, it's hard to get really good hits on it. Because, like, as you can see, it uses it constantly. You can get him walking around a bit. I mean, you don't really control that, but if you can get him walking around a bit, it's definitely a little bit easier. Crap. He keeps using it. It's definitely not good. I mean, I could take some time to get some of these treasures off. No, it's too chaotic. It's way too chaotic. Oh, and I gotta get... Like, there we go. A lot of this, too, is just I need to get some good throws. Oh, now it's getting fast. Oof, to keep everyone together. Ah, damn. Mm, wow, that's a lot. That's a lot. And obviously, if, if a, uh, a water droplet hits you specifically, it will obviously damage you, which is very dangerous. But it, the, the, the attacking range isn't like as wide as everything else, so yeah, it's not too, 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 too bad. I am missing so much. This would go a lot faster if I had literally any aim. There we go, there we go, there we go. At least I got some damage on it that time. Can you hit me up here? Oh, ooh, yes you can. Oh, 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 that's not good at all. Oh, gosh. Wow, okay. Oh, my gosh. My aiming is so garbage. By the time I get my, um, my bearings straight, he's ready to attack again. That's okay. I have 54. Oh, my God. I lost, I lost so many Pikmin in this fight. Um... As long as you have a couple of Pikmin left, you go for it, man. Okay, so the good news is, though, if you do um, leave, because you can leave for the, for the geyser right now, um, and you come back, all the treasure is still there. It's not It's not like the, the Weevil puts it... Oh, actually, I don't know that. I don't know... Okay, so if you, if you get the treasure into the ship and collect it, it won't come back. I'm not sure what'll happen if I just leave the treasure there. I like to think the Weevil's smart enough to grab it again, right? Like put it back on its body, I guess. I don't know. Oh my gosh. Aim, Phil. I didn't get a single Pikmin on there. Oh my gosh, this is rough. <sighs> Every time he moves it to like attack, I'm like, oh, it fell off. That's not at all what's happening. Oof. Yeah, I, said, I told you this is going to be a long boss fight. It doesn't help that like I'm not, as you can see, overly very good at it. There we go, there we go, there we go. Ah, damn it! No, bad angle, bad angle. Yeah, rough angle, absolutely terrible angle. Reposition! Oof. The attack feels like it takes forever. Like, it takes so long now, too. Damn you. Not a ton of blue pigment, I guess, you'd go after him, but... Damn, 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 damn. As you can see, this thing can attack up at the... Up on the edges now, too, so... It's probably dangerous to leave Pikmin up there now. You might be able to target them specifically. Oof! Come on. Yes, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, damn. Does it gain more HP like the last treasure? Like every time you take a treasure, the other treasures like gain a little HP. Is that a thing? I actually don't know. I feel like I've attacked a lot now. Well, I mean, unless there were throws like that where I got literally one Pikmin on him. So why is it taking so long? This is just nature of the beast, I guess. The beast that is the twite, the twite and dweevil, twite and dweevil. Y'all mean? Come on. Ooh, there we go, there we go. No! You, come on, Louis. So yeah, like I said, Louis is not, um, not like piloting this thing. But there's always been like this weird like conspiracy online being like, oh, Louis secretly evil. He's doing this. Like, it's, it, he's causing this all to happen. And there is a reason why people think that. Uh, and we will actually see that. Oh, no! Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. There we go. Uh, after... Oh, one died. Uh, after this boss fight, we will see uh, why there's, like, a kind of theory online as to that. 
would have been cool to see if uh, if Game Theory... I mean, I know they didn't, but it would be cool if they had made a, a Louis Theory, I guess. I don't know if it's that deep or anything like that. I mean, the guys made theories about the weirdest things. So, yeah, there we go! So now, like, his cover kind of breaks off, and you can attack him. But we're going to spend some time just collecting the treasure. The Titan Weevil now cannot attack us. We have officially beaten Pikmin 2. There is no way for us to lose. Does everyone pick up everything? Now, uh, I did say, however, there was five treasures on this floor. Uh, four of the treasures are obviously the, the weapons, but the Titan Duvel itself will drop a treasure. That way you're not just grabbing the tre treasures and leaving. You do have to take it out. Oof. So you need at least 30 Pikmin or three purple Pikmin in order. So if you imagine defeating it with, like, two Pikmin left, you're just like, oh, okay, cool, that sucked. <laughs> I don't, I don't have enough Pikmin. Flare Cannon. Oh, very nice. Very good name. <laughs> They're so slow. Wow, that took forever to just get in the middle there. It's a faucet. Where was the water coming from? Monster pup. Okay. Yeah, okay. You know, I would say I could just uh, go get this while that's all happening. <laughs> and... Oh, that's neat looking. Shock therapist. Oh, gosh. That's terrible. All right, there you go. You guys can take that. We can attack. Come here, guys. And it's just like any other Dweevil. You attack the main part. You notice this Dweevil is less, um... Kind of, I guess, less, uh... Um... Like, bug-like, insect-like. It's kind of crab-like. At least the legs look crab-like to me. The shine is kind of creepy, though. It has to be pretty big, I guess real life. I'm judging all the sizes of everything based on the rings that we keep finding. It's kind of how I, I judge it. I mean, the proportions on a lot of the treasures are, are nonsensical, so I don't think you can really do that, but whatever. Comedy Bomb! I think the official uh, measurement for, like, Olimar is, like, four inches. I'm not sure. Not sure at all. Okay. So he doesn't have a whole lot of life. He has enough life. I mean, he's definitely got a boss amount of life, but it's easy. He can't do anything. He can knock Pikmin off. I don't even know if he can if he can take away the flower power. I'm actually not sure on that. But yeah, obviously do not wait until now to use your uh, your sprays. You imagine you're just like, haha, now this will just make this part go faster, even though it's not dangerous. Oh, that must be why I, it didn't take me long to, to destroy the other piece. I, I, I used a bunch of uh, sprays, so. Anyways, we're so close. Come on. We're just about there. And we are done. That was Pikmin 2. Oh, his death is so creepy. Look at that. Blah, 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 blah. But is Louis okay? Is Louis okay? Well, there he is. This is like a little doll from like a UFO crane game. Louis? Da, 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 da. Are your life functions fading? No, he appears only to have fainted. He is always running into trouble. To start the Pikmin to carry him, there is not enough room for him in the cockpit anymore. We will have to keep him in the cargo hold with the treasure hoard. So yeah, this is our 201st treasure. Our very last treasure. Our good pal, Louis. Oh, Louie. And what's funny, though, is though obviously you can keep playing the game, because uh, you don't have to come here last, right? You can come here first after you get the, the president. Uh, you don't get to play as Louie again. He doesn't come back. You don't get to switch out uh, the president uh, and Louie, which is a shame. There's Louie. The king of bugs. And that's why there's a big theory about like whether or not he was doing that on purpose, but I don't think he was. But... As soon as we leave here, because that was our final treasure, the game will automatically end, just like it did when we uh, completed our debt. So it doesn't matter uh, how much time we had in the day. We don't even get to see how, how many Pikmin we lost throughout the entire day, or it doesn't do like the day thing, which is frustrating. Jeez, 6,000. 6,000 Pokos in that one cave. That's nuts. We did it. Wait, did we get a cave? I even wasn't paying attention. Did that say cave complete? Yeah, 21, 21. We're good, we're good. 
wistful wild. So yeah, I wish it gave us the whole like report of like how many Pikmin died that day. It still gives us the report for like the whole file. It'll compare it to my previous file that I played a couple months ago. So we get to see how much uh, better or worse I did. It's better, believe me. It's a lot better. Uh, we beat this on the 18th day while my first playthrough was like the 26th day or something like that. Here we go. The final little cinematic. Aww. And off we go. Bye bye, Pikmin, for the second time. There's actually a really cute song that the name I don't know. Uh, and it's it's a, it's a cute song that's in the original version of the game. Uh, kind of, the Pikmin sing it, like, kind of. But there's, like, a Japanese lyric one. And it's a song from the Pikmin's point of view and how much they love Olimar. And it's really cute. And there's a sister song... Um, by the same band, it's like, oh, just like Strawberry something. And it's it's a sister song because it's from the point of view of Olimar and how much he loved the Pikmin but wasn't able to tell them. And it's like friggin' heart-wrenching. And I'm like, Nintendo, what are you doing? Uh, both the songs are, I, I believe both of them anyways, are in Smash Brothers, uh, which I think is really neat that they added that stuff in there. Um, it's cool when they add something related to the game but that's not in the game itself. It's like a Breath of the Wild trailer music which is an incredible piece of music, is in Smash Bros., but it's not actually in Breath of the Wild. But there we go, that was Pikmin 2. There is actually one more cinematic in the game that we're not going to get, uh, and that's if you beat the challenge mode, and I won't spoil it, it's really funny, but it's called Louie's Dark Secret. Uh, go online and check it out, it's really, really funny. But everyone, thanks so much for joining me for Pikmin 2. There are no credits, uh, we got the credits already when we beat the game the first time, it's, it's clearly Earth, there's Australia right there. Um, but... Uh, let's check out our stats first before we uh, move on. The end. Aww. That was a lot of fun. That took a while, though. 28 episodes. Oof. That's so much longer than Pikmin 1. Like, Pikmin 1 was 12 episodes? This was more than double its length. That's crazy. Hello? Is there anything here? You know, you going to move on there? The end? Hello? Oh, there we go. Jeez, I was getting worried. Here we go. So 18 days as opposed to 27. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. Sorry, it's going by itself now, which is very aggravating. Oh, no, I definitely did way better in terms of losing Pikmin. Wow, 103 Pikmin died to explosions in my last game. Pikmin born, only 595 compared to 1178. So in other words, I used a lot of Pikmin in my first playthrough of this. This one, I, I didn't use nearly, or create nearly as much. 10 hours as opposed to 15 hours. But the big one is how many died. Uh, people lost battle, 175. Oh, that's they lost in battle. Uh, total, 276 versus 672. There we go. That is how you improve. I'm proud of myself. Um, but guys, thanks so much again for joining me for Pikmin 2. Uh, I really had a lot of fun. But with that, I'm Phil Blanks. See you next level. Thank you so much for watching this playthrough, and remember to hit that subscribe button to see what I'll play next. Big thanks to my patrons who are supporting me, it means a lot. If you'd like to support my channel, share my videos with some friends, or consider visiting my Patreon page.